the white sap of milkweed plants includes chemicals known as cardiac glycosides, which are toxic to animals when ingested in large quantities. So unless an animal has specialized on eating milkweed and as a way of avoiding the toxicity, uh, then milkweed is essentially poisonous if eaten in large quantities. If one were to notice the colors of those bugs which have adapted themselves to feed on milkweed, such as the small milkweed bug, this is a hemipterin, notice the bright colors. Isn't it trying to hide from predators? Actually, no, because the milkweed bug incorporates some of the toxins from milkweed plants into its own body as a way of deterring predators. And it is an advantage for this bug if predators notice it and learn to associate this color pattern with uh, toxicity. So, for example, if a bird tries to eat a bug, taste the poisonous, uh, bitter taste uh, of it, uh, and then will avoid preying on milkweed bugs in the future after learning this. Note the small milkweed beetle uh, also feeds on milkweed uh, plants and is also brightly colored for the same reason. It incorporates uh, milkweed toxins into its body and its bright coloration allows predators to learn to associate the color with an insect to avoid and to not eat in the future. Both the caterpillar and the adult of monarch butterflies are brightly colored for the same reason. They incorporate some of the toxins of the milkweed plant into their bodies and by being brightly colored, this facilitates the learning in predators to avoid these brightly colored but toxic insects. Dogbane is a plant which also contains toxic chemicals, hence the name. It is something that can make dogs sick should they ingest it. And note the bright coloration of the dogbane beetle, which feeds on this plant and incorporates some of the chemical toxins from dogbane into its body. Like many amphibians, eastern newts put the toxin tetrodotoxin in their skin. The juveniles are brightly colored so that land predators that attempt to prey on red Fs, the juvenile stage, will learn to avoid this brightly colored toxic uh, salamander in the future. However, fish are not as capable of learning as the predators one finds on land. And so when the juveniles mature into the aquatic adults, they lose this bright coloration and uh, obtain a more drab olive coloration for camouflage because fish are less capable of learning to avoid a brightly colored toxic uh, salamander. These are just a few examples of bright coloration serving as a warning to predators so that they can learn to avoid preying on individuals of this species in the future, as in these toxic frogs pictured here.